And welcome back. Well, I'm excited to introduce a new brand new segment, What's Driving You Crazy, where you, the viewer, share questions, frustrations, and challenges with me that make your daily commute a nightmare. Well, one of the complaints I did receive is being confused with navigating roundabouts. Now, I had the opportunity to go with someone, but before right. we get into that, how do you feel about roundabouts? Um, I do personally think that they're, they are a little bit confusing. Like, I'm upon them and it's like, do I go, do I stop? Um, but I know they have a purpose. And yes. um, even with your new segment, you've been getting a lot of feedback from drivers, right? Yes. And what I found interesting is that there's numerous reasons why they have yeah. roundabouts placed. So that's what I found really interesting. And I did go, did a ride along with driving instructor Fernie Fabella from El Paso Driving Academy. We drove around several roundabouts there in East El Paso. And he explains how to approach the roundabouts, drive around them, and the main purpose why they're placed. So you'll be surprised. Take a look. Roundabouts seem to be popping up all around the city, but Fabela says for some people, well, it can be a bit confusing. Now, some of the students and maybe the, the motoring public, they get a little anxious as they're approaching the circles because they're not sure how to properly use them or maybe they don't know the procedures. Let's take a right. So the first approach that drivers should take as they get near the, the roundabout is to slow down. Not necessarily stop, but just slow down considerably. So I see the sign there, yes. 15 miles per hour. per hour. Yes, so you could even go 10 miles per hour if you wanted to. This is a very small circle. So again, for safety, you want to just approach it a little slower just in case someone else doesn't know how to use the traffic circle. So anybody in the circle, the traffic circle has the right of way. If you're approaching, you have to yield to the traffic in the circle. Sometimes the most common mistake that drivers make is go on the opposite side of the circle. So anybody in the circle, the traffic circle has the right of way. If you're approaching, you have to yield to the traffic in the circle. In other words, instead of going counterclockwise, they yes. go clockwise. And now the driver's going the wrong way. So yes, that's, oh, a, wow. that's a fail on their driver's test. And I know that they also have them at the university, at UTEP. Yes. There are there's some at the uh, university where they have multiple lanes in the circle. Yes. So the ones with multiple lanes, drivers just need to remember that on the outer lanes, those lanes are for exiting the circles. The inner lanes are for traffic that are either going to go around and go the opposite or maybe continue on straight. As far as the reason why also for circles, it helps traffic continue moving and not have traffic stop and go, idling at the corner, you know, and, you know, emitting all the carbon emissions out in the air. So that's supposed to be one of the other reasons why. Other than the aesthetics part of it, again, it just helps keep traffic flowing. We're in a residential area. Yes. Say yes. that someone, you know, there's a lot of crashes in a, um, you know, during a, in a residential area. Yes. Who would they reach out to to request, you know, the steps to go as far as getting a roundabout? Well, they can contact the, the city of El Paso, the traffic and city engineering, and they can go through them. And that department then, I believe, contacts the Texas Department of Transportation. And I believe they, they actually come together and they plan, they assess and those kind of things and determine whether they need a traffic circle or not. Well, that was this week's What's Driving You Crazy. Thank you, Fernie, driving instructor, for assisting us. We'll see you all next week. Bye. And I will be posting on my social media where you can comment or you can even email me there at dgomezkfoxtv.com. And I will be showing my segment every Thursday.